smell the coarse ground America worst in your cup Peru's the news from coast to coast Don't decide to have that cloud over head all day Don't you ever dream about some better way to wake up Hey you guys, I'm Susie Ragsdale. Welcome to my cooking show, Sing for Your Supper. I'm happy to have my friend Chase Rivers join me today and we're going to cook some Valentine brunch for you today. Chase, come on in here. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm good. Good How to you see doing? you. Thank you for inviting me. You're so welcome. Well, what have you chosen to make for Valentine's Day? We're going to make a mahi-mahi topped with a red curry sauce and your fantastic uh, papaya salsa. Well, I think the salsa should go first in this because okay. whenever I make a salsa, I like to, to get it all stirred up and put it in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes, if not a couple of hours before serving the dish because the flavors tend to meld together. The main ingredients of this are corn, and then you add about a cup of mm, chopped tomatoes. tomato. And next we're gonna add some red onion, just a little bit of red onion. They, they tend to be pretty strong. I have pretty squeezed lime juice. I'm gonna throw the lime juice in there. This is the juice of two limes. It's probably about a half a cup. This is a papaya half. Spin it into your salsa. About a quarter cup of cilantro. If you like spicy, you can add a little extra hot pepper. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of fish sauce, Asian fish sauce, which you can find pretty much at any Kroger or regular supermarket, but if not, you can go to the Asian markets and get fish sauce. I'm going to just sort of guess at a tablespoon, about like that. And then cumin, my favorite Good spice. Good stuff. Yeah. I'm going to kind of guess at this ground, this is dried ground cumin. I'm going to guess at about a teaspoon of this. Get real busy and in a hurry in the kitchen, you don't want to find your measuring spoons all the time. So there's about a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And that's that. I'm going to stir it up, cover it up, put it in the fridge, and let you take over and show us how to make Sounds great. the I'm next ready. piece of the recipe. Okay, we're going to start with two fresh mahi mahi steaks. And we're going to lightly rub them with some olive oil on each side. Put it on a liberal if you want. All right, and then we're going to take a little bit of kosher salt. And sprinkle both sides like this. Okay, and a little bit of black pepper. Oh. And that's all you do is just uh, rub it with the oil, a little bit of salt on both sides, and a little bit of uh, fresh pepper. And we're going to take it over here and pan sear it at the uh, stove. It's nice and hot. Now, this is going to take a couple minutes. So, what we're doing is we can go ahead and prepare our red curry sauce. And you want to use a nice little um, saucepan. And we're going to take two tablespoons of vegetable oil and we're going to heat it up on about a medium and we're going to take two tablespoons mm -hmm. of this wonderful red curry paste. We're going to drop it in there and we want to cook this until it makes a nice aromatic, you, know, you get a nice smell and then you'll know it's about ready. And then when it's ready, we are going to add one cup of coconut milk and now we're going to blend this together really nicely. Oh, that looks beautiful. And then we're going to add a little bit of cheese to the sauce. Now I used a, uh, a, a white cheddar. I'm going to put about, oh, about three quarters of a cup in there. We'll kind of eye that. We're going to make some crepes to go with this. Our crepes are made of two eggs, three quarter cup of milk, half cup of water, one cup of flour, and then three tablespoons of melted butter. And we're going to put it all inside a blender and blend it all together, okay? Now you want to take about a half tablespoon of butter. You want to put it in a skillet heated to, I would say, medium to uh, medium low. You don't want your crepe to burn and melt that nicely. We're going to pour about an ounce to an ounce and a half of this. Is it like a quarter cup? Yeah, about a quarter cup. Okay. Just move it around a little bit. Kind of give it a nice round shape in the pan. All right, and let this cook until it gets a little... Let it cook about a minute to a minute and a half, and we're going to flip it over. So we have all of these pieces ready to assemble, and what we're going to do is add to the top of that a little bit. Chase, will you go ahead and drizzle as much as you think of your sure. red curry coconut sauce? Mm, it smells so good. Yeah. And this is really flavorful stuff. You don't need a whole lot of it. A little bit of the salsa, the papaya salsa that we made, less oh, than the amount of fish that you have that going That is mouth-watering. Yeah. Okay, so now on what? top, let's do another little drizzle of of the salsa, the okay. papaya, corn, cilantro, red onion. Beautiful. Salsa, just a little bit. Okay. And then how about uh, a, a, like a Some decorative drizzling of sauce? Oh, decorative, okay. Yeah. 
And then here's some uh, a mixture of cilantro and mint that's chopped up. So let's just sprinkle a little cilantro and mint, mint just mm. for a little kick. Scallions or green onions, just the white and tender green parts only, just a little extra. Here's a funny little strawberry lotus flower. Beautiful. Thing. A little garnish. I love it. There it is. So for this Valentine brunch, I decided to make a champagne cocktail. What I'm gonna do is take about a cup of gin and then about the same amount of an orange flavored liqueur, about the same amount of Grand Marnier. I'm going a little light on that because like I said, I don't like sweet drinks. I'm gonna open up this bottle of champagne. And there's a trick to this too that some people don't know. I was a waitress for about six years and so I learned the hard way that you don't just let the cork have its own way with you. I mean, it might pop off and get in your eyes, so you're, you're supporting the cork, keeping it in the bottle. You cover it with a cloth, and then you go from the bottom, and you don't twist the cork at all, you twist the bottom of the bottle, and it's gonna naturally pop out at a, about a 45 degree angle, so you're not gonna spill or spurt on anybody. Perfect. And I'm just gonna put this in also at an angle so I don't get too many bubbles, let it s sort of float down the side of the glass. So here we have a little just dash, dash, shamboard. I want to squeeze in here. It's about the juice of one lime, and I've already kind of cut these up, so I'm going to use about four of these quarters here. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this into our two glasses. I'm going to invite Chase, who's been making crepes over there, to come back in here and share this libation with me. This looks fabulous. Well, we'll see. I have no idea. I've never I have had never this before. Had gin or triple sec in my champagne before. Neither have I. And um, I think we're in for a treat. Thank you guys for joining us on Sing for Your Supper. I'm Susie Ragsdale. This is my friend Chase Rivers. Thank you so much for having me today. I've had a blast. Me too. <laughs> and these are dynamite. Well, you guys can find these recipes on SusieRagsdale.com or ChaseRivers.com. And we'll see you guys next time. Cheers. To my one and only Ever since my heart was well and truly broken well, Little words like I love you remain unspoken Handmade cards and candy kisses, that's all well and good But I'd like it to be well and truly understood While I can want you and you want me, there's no doubt This looks fantastic and it smells even better. I can't wait to taste it. I can't either. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. The giving of a heart can go too far. And I kind of like it here, right where we are. Where I can love the way you. what I'm thinking There's a stage of love that my heart has outgrown As I've grown accustomed to my time alone It's still there's nothing that I might not do Yeah, I might even promise to be true To my one and all Still